Welcome to the Digital Thread. I'm Cassandra Yoakum with Autodesk Tandem, and today I'm with Sam Roberts from TP Bennett. Hello. Sam gave a very invigorating talk with a few others um, in our theater talk at AU, uh, presenting his experience with the digital twin and IoT sensors. And it was phenomenal. Everybody loved it. <laughs> uh, tell us, uh, tell me a little bit about your talk today and what you presented. Yeah, so my talk, I felt like it was sort of an entry level into digital twins. It was a lot of sort of our journey into digital twins, sort of a lot of the lessons we've learned along the way and a lot of stuff that other people can use as well. Yeah, um, can you just give us a little intro on what a digital twin is? Yeah, so a digital twin for me is something that gives you feedback. It's like a replica of your environment that gives you insights. So the one that we've created, we've added a lot of sensors into it and it's sort of telling us a story about our building as well as sort of having all the information about the elements in it as well. What is the benefit of having that information inside Tandem? I think the main benefit is just having it all in one place. So we are monitoring a lot of different metrics across our whole office and using it in tandem with it being web-based, we were able just to send that address out to a lot of different people within our company doing different roles, add them to the project, and then it's a real collaborative effort from our whole office looking at this digital twin. Awesome. What benefit do you think this is gonna end up providing clients? I think it's huge. I mean. We've started using it at the moment to do studies on our own building, but obviously one of the main aims is sustainability. So I think it's gonna make everyone that designs buildings and everyone that's in the building be a lot more sustainably focused. When you can see sort of a number attached to your actions and your habits, it makes you a lot more aware of what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So tell us a little bit about your pilot project and uh, what kind of building, was it your office or a client office? Yeah, so we looked at our London office because it's our main office and we wanted a lot of people to be aware of what we were doing. So we did a whole floor plate just to test how that floor was being used. We're currently doing studies at the moment to see whether we stay in our building or go to a new building. So it was a test to see how people are working within the office, but also how the office is behaving and whether it fits our need to stay there or whether we need to be looking elsewhere because of the findings that we get from this pilot scheme. You've applied this to your own office. What kind of use cases could you see for your clientele? Yeah, so there's a few different models that we're looking at, but when we design an interior space, we do a lot of office work. So we normally do sort of a six month study. So we'll design the space, hand over, and then six months later, we'll come to them, do a bit of snagging, and then we have conversations about the, how the building's being used. And it's normally sort of, the facilities managers say, oh, they, we don't really use that space. We use that space a lot, we need more of them. So what we're gonna do is go to clients and say, do you want data to back this up? So when we hand over, we'll create a digital twin of the space, and then after six months, we'll have a review, and we'll show them actually how their space is being used. And then at that point, we can make design interventions that will help them use it more effectively. That's awesome. That's the first time I've heard that use case. Yeah, yeah. we, we spoke to Disruptive Technologies about it and they were saying we either build a digital twin and hand it over or we purchase the sensors and then we run that. So we're looking to buy all the sensors and have all the technology and then we'll do sort of six or 12 month studies for our final workplace. That's fascinating. Yeah. This is a little forward looking, but how do you think digital twins are going to change the AEC industry in the future? I think you, I think I think they'll become a standard. I think that it will be a requirement for you to hand over a digital twin. I was speaking to Siva and Duncan about this and they're working on a few universities in the UK and the universities are sort of, sort of saying when they build a new when they build a new building on campus, they want the people to supply them with a digital twin afterwards. So it's kind of already starting in the UK with sort of government projects. So I think soon everyone will have a requirement to do a digital twin and hand it over because the systems we use at the moment, like the O&M manuals are a bit dated and it doesn't really work. So I think this is gonna kickstart a whole revolution in how the handover process works. Awesome. Something I've been talking to a lot of AEC firms is the digital twin providing a competitive advantage. How do you see that? Yeah, I think for us, we've got a few, we've got a few projects at the moment where we've got a Kobe requirement. So we've got a whole BIM services team which deliver Kobe and help project manage. 
and sort of the whole Kobe process at the moment feels a bit dated and it's a bit laborious to do. So we're actually looking at whether we can deliver Kobe through these digital twins. And I think a lot of clients don't necessarily understand the whole Kobe format at the moment. So to put it into an easy to use platform in which they all have access to it again over a browser, I think that will give us a competitive edge in sort of our deliverables anyway. Well, it was thrilling to get to hear you at the AU Theatre Talk today and get to talk to you in person. Again, this was Sam Roberts with TP Bennett. We really appreciate you coming on here and sharing your expertise with us. No, thank, thank you. you very much. Cheers.